Hey guys, so we're getting ready to enter model number one. I just wanted to take you guys along on the journey with us. Kind of small, but I like it. It's got the French doors, so I do like that. This is the dining room area, which I do like. However, I do want a wall here or maybe like a half a wall. Living room. I love this fireplace. It's like glass. Very pretty. And then over here is the sit, um, sunroom. And then it opens up to a deck, which is really nice. And then this is the designer kitchen, which I do love, but I'm not really feeling this um, granite because it's got a lot of red specks, specks in it and I kind of just want like black. So yeah, I wouldn't do that color, but it's pretty, a lot of storage. even storage under the island and then they have the microwave and the oven over here on the wall and this is the mud room nice and big pantry which I love because it's really nice and spacious so yeah it's really nice Let's go upstairs. So yeah, that's the designer kitchen I was telling you guys that I really want. And then over here is the master bedroom, which to me feels really small, but my husband doesn't seem to think so. But it feels small to me. I mean, I guess it's not. I don't know, I guess I'm just used to my room, but I, I my room isn't that big either, really. This is designer bath. I really want a standalone tub, however, they don't have that option, so this one is nice though. And then this one even has the um the bench inside where you can sit. So that's nice. The closet. Closet is kind of big. And this is double sinks. So they basically brought the granite that's downstairs up here. But you guys can't tell. It looks black on camera, but it's actually really red. I do like these floors. You like the floors? Yeah. There's a little toilet area. So this one um, has four bedrooms, but then we would build a third floor for the fifth bedroom. And this one doesn't show that. But um, So this is just like a loft area. Which is really nice. Um, this is the second bedroom. And the closet in this bedroom is like a really decent size to be like a walk-in for a second bedroom. Um, it's a really decent closet space. There's my hubby. Can you say hi? What's up? Does he act like he don't want to talk? So anyway, y'all. Uh, um, so then they have like the laundry area or room, which is really nice compared to what we have now. We have a closet, so I really like that. You can do a lot in there. Uh, and then this is the, I guess, third bedroom. This one feels kind of small, but I think it's just that the furniture is really bulky. I mean, it's staged really nicely, but I don't think I would use bulky furniture like this in this room because it it does make it feel congested and then this is the closet the closet is it's a decent size this is like Talia's size at home so yeah that's the closet this is this will be their hallway bathroom and if we get the fifth bedroom upstairs hey guys we'll probably um 
either get the bath I don't I haven't decided yet or we haven't decided yet depending on the price we might get a bathroom on the fifth floor I mean third floor for the fifth bedroom if not my daughter will be using this one so yeah and then this is the linen closet What is this? Oh, another linen closet. A bigger one. Hmm, that's nice. It's just extra storage. And then this is the last bedroom, which would be the baby's bedroom because it's really small. So yeah. It's not really small, but it's small. And then the closet space in here. That's this one. So we are, we're really leaning towards this particular model. Um, but we're gonna go check out the five bedroom, possibly six bedroom house as well so we can make our final decision. Look at it again for the hundredth time. And I forgot to show you guys, this is the half bath downstairs across from the dining room area. There's the dining room. And I guess this is probably like a coat closet, but they have it locked. So I'm thinking it's a coat closet. So, yeah. God for the fireplace. Like the what? This one is cozy. <coughs> huh? Half bath. It's a bedroom downstairs, so this would be the Didn't guest. You not like this wall last time? Yeah, I don't like this wall. Oh, it's cold. This is the guest bedroom. Guest bath. He's so cute. Perfect for a nursery. Bedroom two. These rooms actually feel bigger than the last, than the Drexel. And there's a bathroom. That's a linen closet, yeah. Laundry room. And then this is the bed, master bedroom, which actually feels bigger than the last one, which is weird because this house is actually smaller than the last one. And then look at the bathroom, double doors. And closet, nice deep closet. So is this the standard um oh guys I like this light fixture I like this loft area too it's nice decorations really makes a difference in the house like it really really makes a difference so this is the third floor and this would be our fifth bedroom so yeah this see this is the one I wanted to Leah to see so she could see how. And this one has the bathroom. Full bath. And let's see what the closet space is. Not very much closet space. This is the bigger, the bigger option.
The other one didn't have a window. Oh, that's nice. Bigger space. Much bigger space. I like this stone fireplace, but I don't like this. Well, you don't have to get that. I don't know how I feel about the stone. We've, we've been to this model at least six times. <laughs> Mud room. Yes. Tell me your names again. Lauren and Jawan. So the problem with this home, guys, is this is the actual house that I was telling you guys that's like already at half of our budget and I won't be able to get like the upgraded options that I want. Uh, maybe one or two, but not everything that I want because this house is already priced so high, but it's worth it because you get so much more space. So yeah, this is one bathroom. This is actually a Jack and Jill, which I do love. And I do, that's another option that I do want to get. Um, so they would just share, hey, they would just share a bath and toilet. And then this is the second sink here. And then this is the closet to this bedroom over here. So that this closet is actually, in the bathroom so but yeah the bed the bedrooms are so much bigger i love the windows <sighs> decisions 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 i really don't know laundry room and then this would be another bath so this is the master and then it has a sitting room, but that's additional. So you just have that wall. Actually, she said that if you don't get the sitting room, it just makes the bedroom bigger. Hold on, actually, but how is that the case? Um, okay, so this is the standard, right? Yes, and this one. Well, this one isn't bad to be standard. The closet is nice. It's just an overall bigger home and it just feels like home. So, yeah. This even feels bigger. This actually feels like a room, like a real room. The other one didn't feel like this. The was longer and had the slope it was really a Yeah, this feels like a room. So yeah, this is where we are. So basically with this house, guys, we will only be able to get the house, maybe a fireplace in this floor here. And that's about it. I wouldn't be able to get no kitchen. Well, I can get a kitchen, but it's not going to be a designer kitchen. It's not going to be a designer bath. It's not. I'm not going to get my stone outside. You ain't going to get Nathaniel. Yeah. You're going to get raw dog price and base one. So, yeah, that's the difference. But I do... Like the Davidson, I just can't decide. The price will help you decide. <laughs> I mean, I even feel like this dining room is more formal than the other one. And I don't know if it's because of the windows or just because it has a wall. And even the office area, I mean, even right here feels bigger. Like the foyer area is bigger. You know, I don't feel... 
Yeah, I think I love the Davidson. I think I love the Davidson, guys. We'll see.